All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use Name My TV Series version 1.8.4 to rename my season two of Teen Wolf. <clears throat> when you first open the program, this is what it's going to look like. And when you first download the program, this is what it's going to look like. What you want to do is we're going to rename Scheme, go to Files, go to Add. You're going to want to open your flash drive if that's where you're storing your videos. You want to highlight them all, but I have a checkbox. Now you can go to open, add all your episodes. You can want to go to where it says, what show are you looking for? You want to type in Teen Wolf. <clears throat> and we're going to search, and then we're going to go Teen Wolf, but not the animated version. Now you're going to see Season 00. These are special random videos. And you'll see season one and season two. We're going to scroll down to season two. And then we're going to go season two, episode one, Omega. Then shape shifted. And we're going to keep going down to get all 12 done. Alright, now since all 12 are done, it's going to change Teen Wolf Season 2, Episode 1 to Teen Wolf Dash Season 2, Episode 1 Dash Omega. Now we're going to rename the files and we're going to go to Yes. We're going to go to OK. Now we're going to open up and you see here Teen Wolf Dash 0201 Dash Omega MP4. That is what it's going to look like when you open up your MP4 file. I mean, MP4 file on VLC Media Player. See, that's the title. And that's what we want. We don't want just the Omega showing. We want all the information. That way we know what season we're on and what episode. Now, if you go list, you're just going to see the little orange icons. But if you go medium, you're going to see different things. Now, content, you will see the icon and the episode information, the file information, things like that. Now, if you go to list, um, let's go details. You'll see uh, size, type, date modified. You can add your title and other stuff as well, but I just like the name and then I usually remove the date modified and stuff. But that's how you use it. So far, that's all you're going to need. And there is a free program, and I have a link below. And I will also link to my MP3 tag video as well on how to change the album art. Bye-bye for now, guys.